Welcome back everyone to Magius Plays The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Last time we found a grenade, threw it into a lake, and chased an astronaut, then explored two houses. Today we have another mystery to solve and another story to see. We could just follow the road on down, and that will get, ultimately get us to the end of the story. But that won't let us see everything. For that, we need to head off into these woods. And see what we can find. Of course not. Do you take that which you know you will not return? No. Is betrayal caused by inequality or injustice? Does sin come from the heart or the mind? And we have another of Ethan's stories. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear, and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping, until the child was born. But the crying has a had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy he, she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. And that is a story about Ethan's mother. A woman with a bit of a temper and who Ethan sees as having once been beautiful. Ethan, as you can see from the story, he's somewhat blames himself for her being in her current state. Now, even deeper in the woods, we will come to the site of the next mystery. Here we are. Let's gather up some items on the left here. Which may seem like a strange thing to do, knowing that the mystery is somewhere else. But this is actually the path I took when I first played the game. Now, it took me a while to find this one, but the next item that we're going to get, I found right away. Because you're walking along in the woods and you come across this magnificent looking church. You have to go inside and look around, of course. So I did. 
It's a path on the right. And found a lantern. Didn't have any idea what it was going to be used for because this was the first of the mysteries that I had come across and figured out. I eventually had to go back to the uh, first murder mystery to resolve that. And then move on with the game. And here we come to the main event. We have almost everything we need here, but not quite. see something in a very dark room there. With a symbol painted on the side of the crypt. So we head down. We can't see anything down here. We have this lever, which causes that to clank. And this is where you're supposed to learn about where the crow is and go find it. Find it, put it there, pull back, spark the fuel, and lights up the crypt. Here we can see we have some of the stuff in place, but not everything. So we don't quite get the full vision, but we get a bigger vision than we did with Travis. So we put that back in place. Hear the sound that everything is in the correct place. Well, we put it in the right place. Head back down. and initiate the vision. Now this one is a little bit trickier to figure out. Not everything is everything shows up in the places you'd expect it to. But some of it is pretty straightforward. So, get these in the proper place. And get things started. Our boy. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And waking him up. Giving him to the sleeper. Forever. You know this is wrong! Chad, 
finish those bricks before he hits them. Chad, let me see it. Get the hell away from me. This is Dale's fault. You should have been helping. Dale's weak. He always has been. You're right. He is weak. Chad, get off of him! He's your brother! Get off of him! <laughs> going on? Where's Ethan? The one who sleeps must not sleep. Your Uncle Chad is dead. Wait. Ethan. not right. Ethan's our boy. Dad, I need to get into the mine. What? Mine? My, my key. Uh, I, I don't have it. I guess I'll use the tunnel near the gate. Just, just keep mom away from me, all right? She's sick. We're all sick. And now we see that the events that we come across... A sleeper must not sleep. Ethan disturbed something. Whatever it was, it got out into the air and into the minds of his family. Now we see that the events that we come across, we don't come across them in the order that they actually happen. Now from here, we obviously need to get to the mine, and there are two ways to get there. You can either trek through the backwoods, or go back to the road and follow that along. Let's see if I can follow the woods around. Looks like I can't remember where the wood path is. So we'll be going back to the road and following that. If you want to go exploring on your own, I highly recommend doing so. There is a lot of very beautiful scenery here that is very much worth appreciating. The developers of this game really put in and went the extra mile and put in the work to make the visuals absolutely stunning. Especially when it comes to the backwoods areas. Here we are back at the main road. And getting ready to go through a couple of tunnels. too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay on the other side, waiting. Whenever I return, I bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? They're sad, evicted things. Memories without homes.
we headed to the left, we'd go up and find the back road to the mines. And if we stay on here... we find the mine itself. But the main entrance is locked up. So how will we get inside and continue the story? We'll find out next time on Magia's Plays, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Until then, Magia's out. <laughs>